Hello, it is, it is my honor to welcome you to the National Day of Reason. Before I get started, here's, there is a little bit of housekeeping to take care of. First off, this gathering is the National Day of Reason. In the rotunda behind me is the National Day of Prayer. If you came to the wrong event, uh, you are welcome to stay with us and make a stand for the separation of church and state. The other group will be coming out in a bit to circle around the Capitol. Hopefully they will pass us by without disturbing us. But either way, please do your best to ignore them and enjoy our speakers. Now that we have that taken care of, I am Dustin Williams, and I am the coordinator of the Treasure Valley Coalition of Reason, host of the Atheist Nomads podcast, and your master of ceremonies for today. The Treasure Valley Coalition of Reason, or TV Core, is the unified, friendly face of the non-theist community here in the Treasure Valley and across the state of Idaho. It is our goal to ensure that every non-believer in the valley knows that they are not alone and to make sure that everyone in the valley knows that someone they know, whether it's their friend, neighbor, coworker, or other acquaintance, is an atheist, a humanist, a freethinker, or some other kind of godless heathen. Simply put, it is our job to make atheism normal in this community. TV Core is made up of Idaho atheists who took the lead in putting together today's event. The Humanists of Idaho, West Valley Freethinkers, the Boise Unitarian Universalist Fellowship Humanist Group, Boise State University Secular Student Alliance, Cosmos Coffee Club, and the Idaho Society of Reason. If you identify... If you identify as an atheist, an agnostic, a humanist, a skeptic, a free thinker, or anything else that is not religious, we have a group for you. Normally, you would be able to go to our website at tvcore.org and find out all about our groups, but unfortunately, there are some very poorly timed upgrades going on on the website, and you can find the homepage, but not the information about the groups. This will be rectified shortly, and that information will be there. Fortunately, we do have representatives from almost every group here with us today who would be more than happy to help you uh, meet with like-minded people. And of course, if none of these labels fit with you, we are glad that you've joined us today. While this event may be hosted by the godless, it is not anti-religious. In fact, one of our speakers that I am very happy to have with us comes from the faith community, Rabbi Dan Fink. And Rabbi Dan will be coming up a little bit later in the, the event. Uh, TV Corps also stands for the firm wall of separation between church and state. This is why we are sponsoring this National Day of Reason rally. This isn't just something we're doing here in Boise. This is something that is going on across the country. The National Day of Reason was established by a consortium of leaders from within the community of reason. And there are gatherings every year on this day coinciding with the National Day of Prayer to celebrate reason, a concept that all Americans can get behind, and to raise awareness about the threat that religious, uh, the threat to religious liberty posed by government intrusion onto the private sphere of worship. So why do we oppose the National Day of Prayer? First off, the firm separation between church and state. A secular government completely neutral on all matters of religion is good for both the believer and the non-believer. You simply cannot have the freedom of religion without the freedom from the religion of those who are in power. The National Day of Prayer violates the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution by forcing the president to issue a proclamation calling on all Americans to engage in prayer, a explicitly religious practice, and it asks government leaders at all levels to set aside taxpayer-supported time and space to hold religious ceremonies like the one that our state's governor, or excuse me, lieutenant governor and treasurer are taking part in behind me. <laughs> The National Day of Prayer Task Force is led by a fundamentalist Christian, and it promotes thousands of events across the country that focus on a small segment of Protestant Christianity. Since these events are held on the government-sponsored 
National Day of Prayer, government officials at all levels take part in these religious services as if they were actually government-endorsed. Since not everyone prays, and not everyone who does pray does so in the same way, any kind of government-sanctioned prayer is by its very nature exclusionary of anybody whose beliefs do not match up with the beliefs of the person giving that prayer. The National Day of Prayer makes those of us who do not pray feel like second-class citizens. And why should our government be involved in setting aside a day to denigrate and exclude some citizens? Finally, for this short list of the many reasons we oppose the National Day of Reason, or, excuse me, the reasons we oppose the National Day of Prayer, uh, those who do choose to pray can do so whenever they want, and they certainly don't need the government to tell them to do so. And since we have a very full schedule, I am going to close my remarks now with a quote from the Christian Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 6. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. In other words, do it silently behind closed doors and not in the capital.